Hi there, I'm Bhavish and in this video we are going to talk about the, the uh, languages, the programming languages which are used in AS400, which can be used with the IBM I platform. Uh, so as we have discussed in the previous videos as well, uh, there are many languages uh, which are supported on AS400, but uh, they, are, they are supported through different uh, types of uh, programming models. So the two major programming models on AS400 are the OPM and ILE model. Now we will uh, talk about these in detail in one of the later videos, but just to give an introduction, uh, the OPM is uh, the older uh, programming model uh, where all your programs are standalone uh, entities like uh, there is program to program interaction i mean one program can call other program the program can send variable data to other program and uh, return back values but that is it but that is li limited to program to program communication uh, usually the programs in the opm model are large uh, and they are usually standalone uh, in the sense that uh, they execute independently they are compiled independently and uh, it is usually a single language so you could you could have a COBOL program called a CL program but that is uh, all there would be to it and there would be uh, no stored procedures there would be no mini programs or it, it is not a modular approach uh, so it is like a monolithic uh, single program approach where everything depends on one program one program is called after the other program and so on so this is the older model of uh, programming on as 400 and it's still widely used uh, but ibm recommends using the ile uh, programming model ile stands for uh, integrated language environment so uh, what ile does is it tries to uh, create a module in the sense that you can have smaller programs the programs can easily talk to one another you can create small procedures and so on so it is also a little bit different way of uh, creating your programs and maintaining your programs we'll get into details of uh, opm and ID in one of the later videos but this is just an introduction that uh, they would fall under two major categories your programs would fall under two major categories that is either the opm or ILE. Uh, now let us look at which languages are usually used on the AS400 platform. So the so th this is not uh, how much of the code is already written in a language, but which languages are popular. So developers are developing in which language today on the IBM Power System for AS400 platform. So today the most used uh, programming language is RPG. So the name of the language is RPG, stands for Report Program Generator. Uh, in the OPM uh, way of doing things, you would call it RPG. In the ILE way of doing things, you would call it RPG LE. Okay, so RPG is the most used programming language. Uh, so these are the rest of the ones. Uh, if you look at this web page from IT Jungle, it shows you a graph, a bar chart basically. Uh, it shows you which programming language uh, the development is being done in which programming language currently. So, as you can see, most of the development being done today is RPG, followed by SQL, CL, Java, COBOL, and so on. So, RPG remains to be a very popular language even today. And how does RPG code look like? Looks like so. This is the older uh, version of RPG code. So this is the fixed format RPG where you have to write the code in a specific column and so on. But uh, these days we have fully uh, free format RPG available. So it is easier to read, easier to write, and it becomes more similar to the in syntax with modern languages like Python, Java, and so on. So RPG is also very well supported uh, by IBM. So they have uh, been releasing a lot of new versions of RPG. So RPG started, so the versions of RPG, if you look at, you would start from RPG 1, 2, 3, then RPG 4. So the newer version is RPG 3 format, which is also RPG, which is also a development in RPG 4 itself. So RPG LE 4 with 3 format, which is also called RPG 3. So if you 
uh, look at the uh, IBM's official documentation on which languages are supported. Uh, they will divide it into three categories, the ILE environment, integrated language environment languages, uh, C++, C, CL, Cobol, and RPG, the original program module, which we talked about. So these languages are supported in the older format. Extended program module is uh, the module which was released in between OPM and ILE, but it is not used much as of today. Uh, but still, uh, you can get a look on, uh, look at which languages are officially supported on the uh, original IBM, uh, natively on the IBM power systems, uh, IBM I operating system. So you can see that Java is missing in this. Uh, why is that? I think that Java is mostly supported in the PAC system, PAC uh, environment, which runs on top of IBM I, which we talked about before. Uh, so Java, Python, and other languages are also supported apart from this, but those are in the PAC format. Uh, so yeah, let us go back. So I have seen a lot of development being done in COBOL as well. Uh, on the AS400. So there are a lot of uh, large applications which are uh, written in COBOL and uh, they are still being maintained uh, you know, even to this day and there's a lot of code being written in COBOL on AS400 as well. But as we can see from uh, various reports that RPG is the most used language. So if you look at this list, you will see that the second language is SQL. Now, you would say SQL is not a programming language. SQL is used only to uh, retrieve the data, to query the data, and get result from the database, right? Uh, but today, SQL is also supported as a programming language on AS400. So if you just ask to chat GPT, I've, uh, I've uh, generated some sample code for SQL uh, when it is used as a programming language. So what ChatGPT says is that SQL can be used as a programming language in multiple forms. So it can be in the form of stored procedure. So you can create and store your code in SQL. You can declare variables. You can then execute a query into it and assign value to a variable. You can have if else statements also in SQL. And other structures are also available. So you can create your own functions, which you can call from while running the SQL, uh, you can, for example, if you create a multiply function and, and, and you store it as a function, then you'll be able to use it in your query. If you create a stored procedure, your stored procedure, you'll be able to call it from other programming languages that you use. And uh, you can create triggers also, which are executed, like uh, say when a new row is inserted in your table, your code will be executed. So yes, even SQL uh, can have uh, traditional programming language features like variable declaration, if else statements, loops, and so on. So SQL is the second most popular language if you look at this graph. Uh, the next language is CL, control language in terms of AS400. Uh, so your basic operating system commands, uh, like, uh, like for example, in Linux operating system, you have uh, CD for change directory, you have LS for listing of the files, you have uh, echo for printing uh, text on the terminal. So in the same way, you have commands in AS400. So all those commands, whichever commands are there, you can uh, write it into a file, into a text file, let's say, uh, with a CLP extension, and uh, that would be your CL command. So this equates with your bash language on Linux, or on Windows also, you have uh, shell scripting. Uh, in Windows, where you create .bat files and so on. So CL language is similar to uh, your Bash on Linux, where you can accumulate all the commands that you have, operating system level commands that you have, and uh, write logic uh, by writing those commands in a single file. So when you execute this program, your uh, commands will get executed, and it can perform operations on your operating system as per the logic you have written. So the next language is Java. So Java is supported by IBM. So IBM has its own uh, IBM toolbox for Java. IBM has its own compiler, SDK, JDK for Java. So uh, in AS400, you will have to uh, write the Java program in an IFS directory. You'll have to store it in uh, an IFS uh, folder. So 
then you can issue java c java commands to compile it and run it so i have seen modern apis being compiled in java being built in java and they run on top of as 400 you can build web services and they can run on as 400 and uh, cobol is also a native language as we spoke about before and a uh, lot of other microsoft languages like dotnet support is there however the usage is decreasing over time so if you uh, look at the usage statistics of the usage history for the last uh, from 2016 to 2022 so last five to six years of history of programming language usage you would see that rpg is uh, steady and it is growing in use sql is also steady uh, the use of cl has been uh, increasing over time uh, java is also steady about 40 percent and uh, you can see in green python is also uh, steadily increasing over time on the as 400 uh, so uh, you can access the web pages record this demonstration in the video description so this is a short video on uh, which all programming languages are available uh, if you uh, if you log into AS400 uh, and if you go on to create a new program, so you'll have to go to work and be our PDM for that. And get into a source physical file and uh, enter your library. So we'll talk about source physical files and libraries in detail later on. Q C P L L E S R C. Yeah. So if you go into your source physical uh, file, if you go to work member PDM, and if you go on to create a new file or a new member inside this uh, library in your source physical file with F6 key, it will ask you for source type. So if you do F4 uh, on the uh, source type, you will get to see that your extension, your file extension, your member extension can be among these. Now if you look, in, if you look closely, you have CBL and you have CBLLE. So CBL is for COBOL program, which is in the old OPM format. But CBLLE is COBOL in the new ILE format. So you can create COBOL in both these formats. Now if you look at uh, some other extensions that are available, you have CLP, which is uh, command line control language program. So CLP is available. Uh, then you also have CLLE, which would be most, which would most likely be an uh, ILE version of a CL program. I think uh, if you look at the RPG code, so RPG also has two different types of extensions, RPG and RPGLE. One refers to the old OPM format and the new RPGLE format refers to the development done in the ILE environment. Uh, yeah. So you can look at uh, SQL and uh, you can also, you can you also have combination of SQL CBL. So you can have a COBOL code and in between COBOL code, you can have SQL queries embedded inside COBOL. You can have RPG and you can have SQL embedded inside RPG and so on. So all these various types of uh, programming languages support. You can see C, you can see C++ and uh, yeah, you can see a lot of uh types of numbers which are available over here so this is the basic uh introduction on uh, which programming languages are usually used and uh, supported on as400 hope you liked the video if you did do subscribe to this channel i would be uploading more as400 content in the future thank you for watching bye bye